Dean, Warwick, Westwood, Andrews, Ekblom and Greco. The superpower lowlers of Richard Dean and Phil Andrews immaculately liveried and very heavily tipped for the top at the beginning of the 1991 season. These perhaps were the two drivers of whom the most was expected this year. Andrews and Dean had both driven international Formula 3000. Both were experienced. The team was immaculately prepared and ready for anything on day one and they were expected to do well but Andrews and Frederick Ekblom both picked up a one minute penalty at Alton Park for allegedly rolling the start. Meanwhile Richard Dean ahead of Paul Warwick with Julian Westwood in third place. And the race beginning to settle down and it was clear that Formula 3000 is one of those formulae where you can pick out a good driver from among the rest of the field. The rules are designed to make the cars as uniform as possible. They're designed to make it as difficult as possible to buy victory. Richard Dean, however, threw his victory away at that point, ripping off the front wings as he clipped the kerb. The car now with no downforce at the front, virtually undrivable. Warwick soon went storming past, so too Julian Westwood as Richard Dean made one more lap before retiring in the pits. That looked like certain victory thrown away by driver error. Richard Dean understandably unhappy with himself. Looked as though the gap was opening back to Paul Warwick. I was surprised he wasn't pushing me more, it was very comfortable. Maybe if it had pushed me more, I'd have concentrated more. It was my own fault, pure mistake. Do you, um, do you get taken behind the bike sheds for a kicking now? Probably. Meanwhile, Paul Warwick had the front and was pulling away from Julian Westwood by a remarkable margin. Having been unable to reel in Richard Dean, or at least having not done so up to the midway point of the race, Warwick now ran away with it at the front. Checkered flag came out and Paul Warwick had gone from pole position to his first checkered flag in a couple of seasons at the very first race of the year and picked up a handy nine points into the bargain. Westwood second, then G-Max Jr, Harold Heisman, Alain Plash and Phil Andrews collecting a single point having raced the whole distance under that one minute penalty. There at Alton Park to celebrate his brother's success, Derek Warwick looked almost as happy as if he'd won the race himself.